So last night, I don't know if you guys know or not, all yesterday my mom was having like super sharp pains in like her lower right. Hey, Nan fam, guess what? We are at the hospital. So for the last 48 hours, Tiffany has not been feeling very well. She's had a really bad stomach ache and she's tried to just lay down and rest, hoping that it would go away. But it's finally gotten to a point that it's really, really, really bothering her. So it's late Saturday night and we've come over to the hospital to have her checked out at the emergency room, see if we can find out what's, what's gonna happen here. So I will let you know, we're just gonna check in here and then I'll let you know what's, what's going on. Well, guess what? They have admitted us here at the emergency room. Here is my beautiful, beautiful wife. Okay, so with what they're thinking because of the area that it's hurting on her right lower abdomen. They're saying that it could be a tubal pregnancy or that she could have appendicitis or there's a couple other little things because of the area that it's in. So they're going to admit us here for a little bit and then they're gonna take her in and do a CAT scan to see if they can find out what's going on because they said they need some images to be able to, to do that. So we're waiting for them to be able to take her in and then they said it would be about an hour before they'd have the results to be able to tell us what for sure is going on. So we're, uh, we're gonna be patient here for a little while and wait and see what happens. All right, honey, how you feeling? Um, better now, they gave me medicine on my head, so. Yeah. My only time is killing me is that. But it was so bad, like, literally cozy jet on the couch <laughs> and to my tummy, I thought I was gonna die. I don't know what is going on. I was really worried that it is too a pregnancy because I don't know. I just was really worried that it could be because I don't know if that's what it is. So anyway, that's how I'm worried. I'm worried about the kids because it's getting really late and Lily's got it under control and journey. But so it's tomorrow being Easter. I have all the Easter dresses ready. And I have like all the um, baskets and everything ready. And now I just don't know what to do, so. We'll wait and see what the doctor says once yeah. we do the CAT scan. Hopefully we're not here for very long. Hopefully they figure out what is fast tonight. All right, they just came and they took Tiffany away and they're doing the CAT scan. So it would take about 10 minutes. So I'm waiting here for her to come back and we'll check in with her once she gets back in the room in about 10, 15 minutes. She's back. I'm back. That was the weirdest thing ever. They felt like iodine or something in my, in my IV. And it was so weird, it felt like my throat got really hot and then like your whole body gets hot. And then you have to hold your breath while this machine goes around you. Mm. <laughs> I've never had one of those, so. Yeah, it was crazy. Seen it on TV, but. Yeah, it's crazy weird. I'm really grateful that you have stuff like that. Oh, that's really weird. So they said it was gonna take almost an hour before they got the results, so we're. Yeah. Gonna wait. I'm sure. I don't it's know. Now. All I know is I feel way better now. So I'm just like so grateful that I'm not like in her this pain anymore because it was pretty bad. Like I started getting nervous that I wouldn't be able to actually like get up and walk to the car and I was gonna have to call someone to come get me. And I didn't want to scare the kids or anything, so I'm grateful. And luckily most of the kids had gone to sleep by the time they left, so like none of them were scared. Like I didn't want them to be scared also. So that's good, but it is getting pretty late now and so I don't know if we're gonna go this morning. You'll have to have this morning and money or something. Yeah. <laughs> oh, all right. We'll celebrate it. It's an important day. Yeah. All right. You rest while we wait for them. Okay. And then we'll uh, let you know what the results are here in about an hour. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, <laughs> good news and bad news. So I'm not pregnant with a tubal pregnancy, which is 
really good news. But the bad news is, is I have appendicitis. And I'm like, oh, so do I just take antibiotics or whatever? It's like, oh no, we have to go into surgery and take out your appendix. So, we'll be doing surgery, I guess, and taking out my appendix for Easter morning. Hey! Oh, I'm trying to figure out what to do. What do you think we should do, honey? Think we should call Kennedy or somebody to come help the kids or just. They're gonna be fine. Oh. Let's just take care of you. You need to quit worrying about them and take care of you. They're gonna be fine. Yeah. All right, you get some rest because they're gonna move us in just a few minutes okay. to the other hospital and that's already after three o'clock in the morning. So, okay, we need to get a little rest. At least you have a bed. I <laughs> have a chair. Sure to sleep in. If we choose to stand with the best at ours, it's the next morning, so um, they're gonna take me back in like an hour for surgery. Um, Benji's filming, he slept on the great bed right there. There it is. <laughs> so bad but like I literally had this whole Easter thing like really neat thing with like footsteps of Christ and we we're gonna go through like his last week of his life and then they are all gonna get these beautiful dresses and attend church and then come home and get their baskets and have this big Easter dinner so I'm really bummed I'm here but it's okay it's all good but anyway I'm gonna do that and hopefully everything will be fine and then We'll head home and just kind of have a quiet Easter and hug on my babies. I can still give them all their fun stuff and maybe we'll do the neat lesson in a couple of days when I feel better, but that's the status for right now. <laughs> Guys, are can't really take me back, so I pray I wish me hug. How long is the surgery then? It's it's usually the surgery itself is probably about thirty minutes. Okay. It's you know, there's going to sleep, there's waking up. So yeah. An hour. An hour. Um, is my anesthesiologist going to talk to me? Okay. Yeah. I'll come talk to you next. Okay. Yep. Set up to be really the resurrection. 
had it set up be really neat about all of that stuff. So yeah. that's okay. We'll do it. Yeah. You can still mm -hmm. share all that. I know you wanted to do that on a video. We'll still share. Yeah. This might come out a little later, but guess what? Everyone's going to see this and they're going to go, ah, we understand. We'll still watch. Mm -hmm. Are you trying to call Janie, honey? Yeah. She can call him on Easter, so I was just trying to call her to tell her what's going on. Hi. What's happening? Um, I have appendicitis and I'm getting my appendix out. Welcome back to Not Enough Nelsons. I know I look a little crazy. I literally just woke up. Like I still have wet hair from last night. So last night, I don't know if you guys know or not. All yesterday, my mom was having like super sharp pains in like her lower right part of her stomach and couldn't like really move or anything. Or So she just rests all day. And my dad took her to the hospital last night and they just found out at like three in the morning that my mom is getting surgery. And so um, my mom's helper, she's really nice, oh, like, always is ready to help is coming over to help us get ready because if you guys didn't know also it is easter morning and this is not a typical easter morning that we would usually have every single year is it like Hi. did you know that mom's getting surgery yeah yeah are we gonna have any good easter still yeah oh. all right so we're gonna get ready and go to church and good? say some prayers that she will hopefully feel better and the surgery will go good and all is well. So yeah, that is what our life is currently like right now on Easter morning. I'm an anesthesiologist. I'll okay. be the physician responsible for your anesthesia today. Okay. Got an appendix that needs to come out, is that right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm a little bit more nervous because they're gonna put in a breathing tube. That kind of freaks me out for some reason. I don't know why. I'm sure it'll be fine. Anyway, I can take it back soon. As you saw, is we are singing a cute little prayer with Jeannie and she's Spanish speaking and so it was funny she forgot some of the words and she had to say them in Spanish. <laughs> so cute. I so glad that she's got the language down so good. So anyway, everything's going to be okay. Benji, would like to wish her well. We'll have you. Oh, I've got 10 kids at home. Oh, do you really? Yeah. All right, so this is my waiting area. I guess I'm going to be sitting here for about an hour waiting, hoping that everything goes well here in the waiting room. So say a little prayer for my wife, please. We have a big family. We need everything to go well so that she's safe. All right, guys, we are all ready for church in our church outfits, and we are about to go to church. Don't mind. This is what we have for breakfast. So... for these super cute Easter eggs. Love you guys! So cute, and our mom got them for us, so we're thankful for that. Guys, we are now off to Easter, and if you guys didn't know, church is our favorite part of Easter because we get to learn more and go and celebrate. Love church. Oh, Beckham loves church. We get to go and celebrate our Savior, Jesus Christ. So, mom is still in surgery, which is the sad news, but I know she'd be super happy that we're going to church. So, we're doing it for our mom because we love her, and we're sending her all of our good vibes to hopefully make it to a good recovery. So, you know, life is fast, it's very busy, there's always something going on, but very seldom do we slow down and really go, oh, wow, this could be a big deal. And I'm just really, really grateful for my wife. I love her a lot. She is always, always, always giving of herself to me and to the kids, trying to help other people. And I just really recognized again today sometimes that I don't probably tell her enough how much I love her or give her a hug and just let her know how much I appreciate her. So I'm sure everything's going to be fine, but I, I really do love my wife and I'm grateful for all that she does for us. So thank you, honey. Please be safe as you're in there. Heavenly Father, please watch out for her, if you will. 
So Tiffany just got out of surgery. The doctor came and told me that everything went really well. It took about an hour. So she's still asleep, recovering in there. She said that, that I could come and see her probably, like I said, in about an hour once she wakes up. She's out of it still. So I'll let you know, but I'm so glad everything went well. It's scary. The watermelon shake, sugar scrub, or the perfume of the body lotion because it smells so good. Oh, this is what I love. The Orby Bob. Oh, that smells good. This is my absolute favorite. Same. I love me some sugar scrub. Awesome. Oh, yeah. Got some Tex Oh, yeah. My candy, my lip balm. I just got candy and some eggs and some body scrub. has been almost three hours since Tiffany got out of surgery and the doctor and nurses just said they're still a little bit worried because her blood pressure still has not gotten to where they want it to be so they're still going to keep us here for a while so, so I'm a little bit worried about that and so they're worried about that they want it to be up to 60 is what they said they like it to be at so 90 over 60 and we're still at 89 over 48. So the doctor came in and said they're still a little bit concerned with her blood pressure. She's always worried about the kids and wanting to get home. So I'm trying to not bug her and let her sleep as much as we can. And we'll just be patient. But I think everything has gone okay and she's going to do just fine. Alright guys, mind doesn't matter. I just wake up my brain. You just slept for another whole hour. <laughs> I gotta get home. For what? The Easter. <laughs> You gotta not worry about Easter, you gotta worry about you. Yeah, I'm, my body's <clears> moving <throat> faster now. Yeah. That's awful. Look how beautiful you are. All these people are gonna see me. It's reality, yeah. honey. <laughs> it's reality. That's the good me. thing is, is you don't try to pretend that you're not something. You're always who you really are. All right, well. That's why people like you. Waking myself up now. The kids just ate lunch, they're good. They ate lunch, what they eat. I don't know. They just made lunch, they said. Keep going. Yeah, huh. 90 over 51. Eating did way better. Is that better? That was better. I don't know, we'll see. We'll call the nurse. All right, so the nurse said to let Tiffany rest. So I'm gonna let her go to sleep for a couple hours. Yeah. She said the physician said it's okay as long as I'm stable or something. So just rest for a few hours and maybe it'll go back up on its own. Maybe you can just leave me and go make Easter dinner. Feed everybody and then bring me back a plate. Yeah. Let you sleep. All right, I'm gonna get the nurse and see what she thinks. I love you. So, all right. See you soon. Okay. There are our emergency helicopters. Oh, glad we didn't have to do that today. We've done that before. That's a scary time when Tiffany got in their accident, had all the kids in there and Navy was life flighted. Benji went home to make dinner for the kids and I'm just here. My blood pressure is just super low. So I'm just trying to get that back up and 
rest until it goes a little bit up and then I'll be able to go home with the kids for Easter. So this has been crazy and very unexpected and I'm super sad because I had a really special thing planned for the kids, but we'll figure it out. Anyway, hopefully the kids are doing fine at home eating dinner and I'll be able to join them soon. Okay guys, my dad came home from the hospital with my mom. Well, my mom's still at the hospital because her blood pressure has to go up or down. I don't remember which one she said, but her surgery went well, but she has to make sure that her blood pressure is good before she comes home. So my dad is making dinner and we're straightening up things just so then when she does come home, it's less of a mess and yeah, all that great stuff. We just have all the kids doing what they want. We have Presley for some reason on the floor, drinking and watching stuff on Navy on the couch. We have Cozy, Journey, Sadie Dean dishes. It's a great day. Also, Ledger and me made some cute Easter flowers, huh? Tell me if they're good. Yeah. Try and tell me if it's good. Yeah. Oh, you got some messy face. making some little tiny ones for mom so I can take them over to her. Now we gotta get her some baked beans. Baked beans. Look at those beans, they're just perfect. I still remember the first time I kissed you The look on your face as I grazed your lips with my lips sitting down because we're about to eat some dinner. Without mom, dad is going to be a kind Samaritan and bring her some food at the dog's house. So obviously, Tiffany's not here. There's no organization to this. No sitting down and having this perfect little thing. Everyone's just doing their thing, so. Grab her, um, we love you, but we're doing our best. Hi, honey. Hi, hun. Are you okay? Uh, Did you have a good rest? Um, ish. Ish? Yeah, what's, what's the box you brought? It is a prize. I got a prize? Oh, it's a present. I got a present? I went home and made you a present. Like it. Oh, it's Easter dinner. <laughs> Did they already nice. feed you? Oh, no, just little things. But yummy. That's awesome. The good news is I have all this yummy food. The bad news is I don't really have a fork, but oh, that's okay. I had one at one point. <laughs> Wait, you did? Wait till you see the rest of the video when, I, when we were at home and was how it chaotic, chaotic it was. <laughs> I don't think any of the kids used a fork while they were eating either. Oh, they did. They just, just held him. Use your fingers. Well, also, your... the good news is, is she said that I can go here in a little bit, so. She did? Yeah, so I'll just eat some of the fruit and then I can go enjoy the right. stuff at home. Sorry. You're so sweet for bringing it, thank you. I That's kept it in the warming good. drawer, I tried to do good. Aww, but... and you made all this when you went home? Yeah. Did the kids not help you? You sound defeated. They did not, I'm tired. Aww. We got. I got two hours of sleep last night, so I'm a little bit. Yeah. Have one of those, they're yummy strawberries with your <laughs> yummy dip. Did Lily make the dip? Lily did make the dip. Mm. How was that? Really good. Since you haven't eaten for 48 hours, it's probably really good. Yeah. Um, hey, they did turn that thing off, so that must be a good sign. Yeah, it just it just really ran out, so she came in and... Awesome. Did everything and checked inside. You know, ready to check out. I'm like, yeah, so. All right. Awesome. We'll eat your fruit and then let's get out of here. All right. Sounds good. Okay, guys. I just got a call from my dad that um, he's going to be bringing my mom home soon. And so I'm going to get the kids settled down and make it comfortable well, as much as I can for her when she gets home so she can have a good recovery. But yeah, thanks so much for watching our emergency Easter, I guess you could say. And yeah, love you all. Bye. Bye.